Hello, my name is Taryn Sager. This is our polis, Sparta. The people who helped make this polis is Leela. Hello, it's Leela. And Isabel. Hello. So as Sparta, we believe in communism, which also means that everything should be the same and that's why everything is looks symmetrical. We don't use bronze because that's too weak of a metal. We only use iron because iron is stronger and we don't have any arts. We, the only songs we sing is about battle war. We practice our training is about war and so this is our polis. Let's begin. Hey, it's Leila. I'm in charge of showing you the temples. So, this is the main one. It's Zeus's temple. It's very big. I think the pillars are like 10 blocks high. This, we have the fire so that we can pray, first of all, and so that we can make our sacrifices. Izzy spent most of her time on this, was the one who was in charge of this. So I, we helped her, Taryn and I helped her for like 10 minutes, but that was all. But she, she did this really well, I really like it. And then we're going on to, this is Ares. It's not as big as the main temple, but it's still pretty big. His, of course, it's a sword for Ares. We have more fire and I did this one all on my own, no help. Then, side note, over here is the meeting area where all the villagers go. Okay, this is our last temple. It's Athena's. We put a brand, we put some leaves here to show the olives, but we didn't have any branches, so yeah. It's the exact same size as the Aries one. So, moving on to the Agora. I had to do the Agora all on my own, but they're, again, really symmetrical, and there are about 10 of them. Uh, in the Agora, it's just like baked goods, gardening, blacksmithing, you know. This, these are the merchants that Izzy placed they're here to sell you stuff. Sadly, they don't make any good deals. But yeah, moving on to Izzy. Bye. Okay, so over here are the houses I built with the help of Taryn. And as Lula said, this is the meeting area because all the villagers go around here. It's very loud on this side, so I'm going to go to the other side. The other side is exactly symmetrical because, like Taryn said, we were um, communists. And in here is the bed, and it's really close to the ground because the Spartans, they slept on the ground, but um, I put it under so that they could still sleep in there. And over here is this little lower table that they worship on and pray every night before they go to sleep. And over here are little furnaces so they can cook their food. And here's a crafting table so that they can craft their stuff for war. And then over here um, I made little horse stables. And here is one of the horses. And this one has armor because it's a war horse. And so it helps us during war. And over here is our little garden so that we can have food for our war, like I said before. And we also have a well over here so that they can get their water. And we have this great big wall around our whole entire polis to um, protect us from invading enemies. Over here we have our animal pens where the animals live so that we can kill them and we get our meat. And we have lots of chickens because they're very small. And some cows. And then over here we have some pigs. And then I'm going to go over to the school so Tara can show you around the school she built. Right here we have our school and our fighting ground and our training for the children. So let me first go to the training. So this is where they fight. I'll get back to that, I'll show you afterwards. So 
As you see these signs, dummies are for beginners. These dummies are, are these, right here, snowman looking creatures. And now uh, the, these are Helens for the intermediate. They, they are really weak. And then these are the strong Helens for advanced, which they're hard to kill. That's how the kids train on them, because um, we want kids and young adults, because they would start training when they're 16 and be ready for battle at age 18. This is where they would fight, and my friend Lilo would show you how to use the bone arrow afterwards. So this is their school where their teacher would teach them um, about war. So here are some books. This is also called the School of Athena, Athena uh, where they would learn about the bat war and battle strategy. These are some of the children's desks. So now my friend Leela will now show you how to use a bone arrow and we shall kill one Spartan or Helen. We don't really care. Preferably Helen. So as you may have guessed by now, we are just like really rough and tumble. We don't care who we kill. But usually we're very loyal. I am not good at aim. So I'm just gonna go down here. And yeah, basically, but usually their weapon of choice would be a sword, an iron sword, so that, you know, they could just get up there and kill them. So yeah, I. So we're gonna show you another bird's eye view of our fantastic village of Sparta. And then we're gonna say goodbye. So here's our bird's eye view. We all hope that you had a great time. So bye. Bye. Bye bye.